this video details somewhat the downloading and basic features of a very good free player known as Jet Audio Basic. Um, as you can see, I went to Google, typed in Jet Audio Basic plus download, <coughs> got the resulting page, and uh, the first link I decided to click on, which again was from uh, downloads.cnet.audio, I think, or it might have been from Cowan America, their site. Anyway, I downloaded the file and uh, installed it on my computer. And from my quick launch screen, you can see what the main window of the Jet Audio player looks like. Now, if you don't like this version of what it looks like, you can click in the area that I'm about to show you on the player. <coughs> and choose a different skin. Okay, So you click on that to get the different skin menu that will pop up and you can click on each one it will show you what it looks like. The top uh, choice is what I usually go with. Um, I generally don't like the toolbar modes of Jet Audio Basic but um, just for clarity's sake I'll click through all the versions that come with it so that you can see what it looks like and uh, you can choose whichever one you want and then click OK. I'm going to go with the top one okay, and click OK and then you'll see that Jet Audio is working and there's the default view that I, that I enjoy working with. Now, what do I like so much about Jet Audio? Well, it's a very, very nice uh, player, and it's free, number one. But one of the biggest things I enjoy about it is something called Playlist. And um, what is a Playlist? Well, if I click on this button, Playlist, uh, you'll see a sub-window pop up from Jet Audio. And uh, here <coughs> is the current default playlist. Right now I'm listening to a series of four MP3 files from the Coast to Coast AM uh, radio site. And um, right now I'm on hour two of that. Now let's say that uh, I wanted to listen to some karaoke music. Okay, so I click the drop down menu and I click on an album that I've created entitled Karaoke Music and immediately you see a listing of all the karaoke files that I have that I have added to this playlist. Um, I don't know if you like to uh, to try to do karaoke online or even you know from your computer, portable computer uh, out somewhere live but you could certainly do that with Jet Audio. Um, you simply click on any one of the files and this is another nice feature of Jet Audio. You can choose any one of these. Um, you can either dub double click on the file or single click on it and then click the play button. And then you'll see a lyric viewer pop up. And uh, that's one of the very nice features of Jet Audio. And you can see the lyrics to, uh, I think it's Besame Mucho. It's a Spanish song, a classic Spanish song, and you can follow along as the song is being played, and you can sing along. It's not quite as nice, I guess, as some uh, karaoke players, but then again, this is free, and it does an awesome job, I think. So it's an excellent, uh, an excellent and a versatile little player. All right, let's say you get tired of of the karaoke stuff. <coughs> And you want to go back um, and uh, play something else. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got lost where I was. How do you make uh, the lyrics that pop up in Lyric Viewer? Well, it's very easy. Navigate to where your music is stored 
and you'll see where I'm where I'm navigating to music mp3s okay and I'll scroll down to the karaoke files and I'll stop and the secret to this is all you have to do is to create a, a rich text format file which is a wordpad file and uh, you can copy and paste the lyrics into the wordpad file and save the file with the same name as the file that you're playing but with the .rtf extension so whenever you play that file Jet Audio will look for an RTF file or a WordPad file with rich text formatting to bring up as it's playing and that way you'll have the lyrics appear for that song so it's pretty pretty neat pretty powerful and I'll just double click on this WordPad file so you can see what uh, the lyrics look like that I have copied and pasted <coughs> I centered it. it looks pretty nice and that's all you have to do just make sure it's in the same directory as the uh, mp3 file okay and there's the playlist again all I have to do is click on the playlist button and uh, we choose the same file play it and there it is in the lyric viewer and you can sing along follow along with the lyrics scroll down and that kind of thing so it's a very powerful um, player and again it's for free you can't beat the price of free now let's say um, we get tired of, of uh, doing karaoke and say hmm, well we want to uh, let's say we want to listen to some guitar music okay we want to uh, to create um, a new album you simply go to the default listing and go to albums and then a new album right click on it to get the new album context menu then you just type the name of the new album in this case uh, guitar music and then click OK I think that's what it was then you right click on the blue field and then you add a file you navigate to what file you want to add in this case I'm going to add um, uh, Al Demiola's Guardian Angel. So I'll scroll over to where Al Demiola's MP3 file is and choose Guardian Angel. Bum, 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 bum. There it is. And click uh, OK or Add. And there it is. And uh, then I can just double click on that or single click on it and play it. And there it'll be. And I can repeat that that uh, action to add as many files as I wish to that album so it's a very nice way of organizing like kinds of songs you know if you're in the mood for a lot of guitar music you can save all your guitar tunes under this one album or if you're in the mood to do a lot of karaoke you can add other files to your karaoke album or if you have country music that you want to do, you can do that, etc., etc., etc.